Good morning, Fred. And here we are again at On The Fly Custom Woodworking. And I just received this little goodie from Blue Eddie. And I've got Fred unboxing it for me because today we're actually looking at the pieces of furniture where I am going to be putting my batteries. And Fred is gonna be doing cutouts. Here, let me help you here, Fred. So out of the box, <laughs> keep, pull, Fred, pull. Oh. It's like, it's, it's like kind of, oh, you know what it is? It's probably this, that piece right there that's oh, tucked yeah. in. So, try that again. Oh, easy, pe oh, all right, okay, out of the box, there we go. I'll get rid of this one for you. So on the sides of the box, it looks like it's got uh, the specs of what it, what it does. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> the big moment. Blue Etty. Yes, looks like the warranty and the instructions. The top box will be the bits and the bobs. Probably all the cables, which we'll get to that. It's packed very well, isn't it? Yeah, it's packed nice. Does she look safe in there? Oh yeah. Oh, look, and it's got right. one of those charging stations on top. Okay, we'll move this box out of the way. Okay, and we'll unbend. See, it's got a light on the back of it, like I was telling you with the other one. Oh, it does. Yeah. Holy smokies, look four. at it. Yeah, we've got four 120 watts, four USBs, a 100 watt Super C, so that's a supercharger for your mm -hmm. phone. Mm -hmm. This is the Anderson Connect for the solar panel. Box of the bits and bobs. What do we got? Okay, so we've got the big charger for so for 120 charging electricity or 110, I should say. That is cigarette the lighter. the cigarette light port for me to charge in the car to hook up to a solar panel. Yep. Yep. Anderson Connect. Anderson Connect. Oh yeah, so it is Anderson Connect for. And then. That goes with this piece oh, here yeah, for, for the, the yeah okay. So you can plug it in your house with 110 volts. Oh yeah, absolutely. And you know, in your house, I've heard that um, it charges in like two or three hours. Oh wow! So the technology on this one is like super tight. Mm -hmm. So Fred and I are going to try some power tools on the new battery just to show you if the grid ever went down in your shop, Fred, you would be able to use a battery like this. This only draws three amps. So it three, oh, it should be tiny, yeah. So then into the AC ports. You should, and you're turned on. Is it turned on already? Yeah, I turned it on, so we should be ready to go. Let's see if it works. Oh, wow. Now, does that feel any different to you than regular? feels like normal. And let's see how many watts it's pulling. Let's turn it on again. It's not even, oh, 231. 171, okay. 46, oh, okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. So 231 watts, it would drain it. three amps. Three amps. Actually yeah. All right, so we unboxed the Blue Eddy. We got out the batteries for the next part. Here's where Fred is today. Today is what, March 20th, Fred? Is today March 20th, do you think? I know. I'm and he was, I know, right? These are the pocket screws that keep it very stable. These are the cutouts that we were talking about for ventilation, as well as Fred did consider the weight. So he cut out the bottoms of this cabinet to make it lighter. He also cut out the side of this one so that there's lots of ventilation for the fridge because the vents for the fridge are on the side. The drawer of the fridge too will also sit up higher here so that it can vent through there and then the other drawers will be in here. So guys, this is how it's looking so far. Furniture. <laughs> for my car. Oh, Thank yeah. you, Fred. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Blue Eddie, for sending this battery to me. So this battery can be charged on the grid in your home from 110. You can also charge wireless to your devices like your smartphone, as long as you're on Bluetooth. Any of your Bluetooth devices can be placed on top of this battery to be charged wirelessly. It's not very heavy, coming in at 16 and a half pounds. On the back of the battery is a light with three settings of low, medium, and SOS.
It's great for lighting up a table, maybe to play games at night in the campground. Ventilation on the sides. The Blue Eddy EB55 700 watt lithium battery. It can be recharged via solar or through an adapter for your house. It has, it's a 700 watt battery with 537 watt hours. So that's quite a bit of mini power for a mini camper. And so let's go over some of the other specs and charging ports. These are pretty incredible. So it offers a USB-C 100 watts and I was able to charge my smartphone in 90 minutes versus four hours. It has a great screen and I love the way they lay it out so you can see how much battery charge you have left. There are four USB ports, USB-A, and there are four 110 AC outputs. There's also two 5521 DC connectors, as well as a cigarette lighter DC output. The Blue Eddy EB55 700 watt battery offers a lot of charging options for your home or your tiny camper. Now let's look at some other things that I tried to charge on here. Things that I will be using my 700 watt battery for are to charge up my laptop and my la laptop is a huge energy pig I think in terms of a computer it's because of the processor and I have to process my videos so that takes a lot of energy when it's doing that 35 watts now but when when she's going she is sucking 45 watts I swear the other option I have for computers and techs is a Chromebook. And I like to use this just to freely surf the internet. I like the battery power life that it offers of 10 hours. It's only going to be pulling, you'll see here, one to two watts. It is on a full charge right now, so it generally will charge at 10 watts. And another device that I would like to charge are my phones. I film using phones. I have a Motorola, I have a Samsung, and I have a Pixel. All use about the same energy and they can charge via the C port on the battery. But often I'll just lay them on the top with the Bluetooth charging device. Will it chainsaw? It sure does at only 464 watts, so I could use my electric chainsaw, and this is a little mini one. And there you have it, my YouTube darlings. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. The build is almost all the way there. And I'm ready to take you on a fantastic road trip and review some more awesome camping toys. As always, everyone, I hope you're doing well wherever you are in the world today. And from my base camp to yours, so much love from Oregon.